Hello, today we'll examine Archon's GN047 removable air vent mount for the Garmin Nuvi. Archon first introduced air vent mounts in the early 1990s. For many years, they were not really a popular solution since the original air vent clips were difficult to remove and there really wasn't a need at the time to hold your portable devices in the car. Then, in 2002, GPS technology began emerging on portable electronic devices such as PDAs, PNDs, and mobile phones. Along with the use of GPS technology in the car came restrictions in states such as California and Minnesota about mounting to a car's windshield. These factors all help make the air vent location one of the most sensible alternatives for mounting your Garmin GPS in the vehicle. The air vents are typically positioned high up on the center dash or console. This means that you won't have to take your eyes off the road when using your Garmin. Archon's family of vent mounts are only compatible with horizontal air vent louvers. In 2007, Archon introduced the industry's first removable air vent mount. Shown here, the primary change to the air vent pedestal were the clips that connect the pedestal to the air vent louvers. The new design allows you to firmly press the finger tabs, shown here, to expand the air vent clips. You'll also use these to remove the air vent pedestal from the air vent louvers. Archon's GN047 is compatible with all of the Garmin Nuvi as they all feature Garmin 17mm swivel ball socket mounting pattern. Many of the Garmin Street Pilot devices also share this pattern. Before we show the installation of the air vent mount, let me stress that you will always need to use caution when installing or removing the pedestal or your Garmin GPS from the air vent location. Your car's air vent louvers are fragile to begin with, and improperly installing this mount to your vents could cause them to break. The order in which you connect the pieces of this mount to your air vent is particularly important. First, it's essential that you connect the plastic Garmin holder that came with your GPS device to Archon's air vent pedestal before you install it to your car's air vents. There are a few different versions of the Garmin holder, but they each function basically the same way. On the back side of the Garmin holder is a 17mm ball socket. You'll need to line up that 17mm ball head of the air vent pedestal with the socket. Carefully and firmly press the ball into the socket to make the connection. A decent amount of force must be used to make this connection, and it's for this reason that you never want to try to connect or disconnect the holder from the pedestal while it's connected to your air vent. Next. We'll install the air vent pedestal connected to the Garmin holder to the air vent louvers. To do this, simply line up the support legs on the air vent pedestal and press both finger tabs at the same time. Then, insert the air vent clips over your car's air vent louver. Next, ensure that the support leg of the air vent pedestal is positioned on the bottom portion of the air vent opening. This will provide additional support for the weight of your device. The last step is to connect your Garmin GPS to the Garmin holder that's now positioned on your air vent louvers. Notice how I'm holding and supporting the air vent pedestal itself so that the stress of pushing the Garmin GPS onto the pedestal is not causing unnecessary stress on the air vent louvers. When I want to remove the Garmin GPS from the air vent pedestal, I'll use the same technique of holding and supporting the air vent pedestal with one hand while I pull the Garmin GPS off the holder with the other. For some of the older Garmin GPS devices, there's an easy push button at the bottom of the holder which you can use to quickly and safely remove your GPS from the air vent mount. Archon's GN047 is a sensible alternative for your Garmin GPS. For more information on this or any other mounts for your Garmin GPS, please visit www.archon.com.